Question number three. Do you want to dominate the streets that you drive down? Uh, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. I sure do. Most important question. Number four. Do you want to be a police officer? Oh, no. 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 For those of you who answered um, yes to only three of those, I have a card that might change your mind about being a police officer. All right. So, um, let me unveil to you all the brand new, wait, never been made before. You can clip it up on the whiteboard with the clip. Okay. Right in the middle. To your left, there's a clip. The purple one. The table. Purple one right there. Right there. there we go. Never mind. The never been made before. The VMI Interceptor. Is that a toy car? No, it's not a toy car, sir. It's not a toy car. Thank you. Are there rims here first? I'll get to that, please. <laughs> For those of you who may be wondering what VMI stands for, anybody wondering? Body Mass Index! <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> it stands for the Vehicle of Mass Intimidation. Isn't that cool? Ah. 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 WMD. WMD. Weapon of Mass Destruction. Take it to the side. I have a question, sir. WMD. The VMI is practically a WMD, only it is also a car, and it's not used to blow up other countries. Oh, you want to blow up other countries? You won't want to blow up other countries. Okay, so before I get into the details of this car, I want to give you a little background on why we here at Whitmore Motors decided to remake a police car. So in our current society and in the future years to come, the urban streets are going to get far more dangerous than they are now. Civilians will become more hostile to law enforcement, so police officers must be more protected. You know, as the streets build up, as the streets build up armor, weapons, and whatnot, we want police officers to build up their arsenals as well. So we decided to change something that is pretty much the most important thing to police officers, and that is their vehicles. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get into a couple of the details of the new VMI. So, You'll notice that the car has a few slanted parts in the body, which is different from the current Crown Victoria police car. And the reason why we changed the body of the car is because it will be able to move with the wind. It will be able to shape with the wind better, making the car, <coughs> making the car go faster, in addition to the bigger motor than the current police car. What? <laughs> There's a put off. Put off. Yeah. Looking, what can I take questions? Yeah. Oh, so is this car only available to police officers? Yes. No, I don't know. I'll tell you why it's only. We'll get to more details in the police car. What company sponsors your car? Is it a board? Is it? Is Whitmore Motors. I'm I'm the maker of this car. <laughs> okay, back into the car shop. You'll notice here a couple upgrades from the current two cars. One, it has two roof lights. It has two rear lights, two front lights, and two side lights. And the reason for that. It's for the car to be noticed anywhere it goes. Okay? So when these lights are on and the car needs to get somewhere, everybody's going to know it. 
and everybody's going to get out of your way. And each, each um, set of likes, I might add, is individually operated. Okay. Another upgrade <coughs> in the car is that this car, this monster here, has four machine guns. Whoa. Okay. Does that interest you a little bit? Whoa. This bad boy has four machine guns. It's pretty cool. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> and the purpose for these machine guns, or let's get into a little scenario. Say you're in a high speed chase. We was a police officer. He's in a high speed chase. Oh, no, okay, we're not going to go. High speed chase. <laughs> you know, you don't want to, you know, stick your body out of the car to try to shoot down a vehicle. You don't want to go 100 miles chasing this car. You have these pretty nice machine guns here that can easily slip out of your car that will shoot down the suspect, making the chase, well, not good for them, but better off for you. I have a question, sir. So you have machine guns. Right. So what's the difference between, oh, wouldn't it be more dangerous if they shot with a machine gun versus you shooting it by itself? Because what if they say the car takes, <laughs> so what if the car takes, <laughs> Uh, it's a it's a it's a good question. Okay. So what if the car turns and the 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 gun keeps shooting just ba da da da? He has something else. <laughs> you know, this car has aim. The machine guns are computer programmed. You know, we do not expect uh, any bullets to be going to make left and right turns. <laughs> yes. What if that kill us? Can lock the suspect? No. If you time. aim it to kill a suspect, it can't kill a suspect. <laughs> Again, this car, the, the, the guns are purpose to aim, so it is meant for anything that you want to do with it. Okay? And this, these machine guns also work well. Say you're in the streets and you're engaged in a, in a gun battle, someone is shooting at your vehicle. You can attack back at the car if they are in front of you, from the comfort of your vehicle without ever having to get out. So then the question is asked, well, they're shooting at your car, you know, what if they hit you? This VMI here is made with an armor body. This body is made from the Texas Armory Corporation, and they um, provide body armor for politicians, athletes, and celebrities. So the armor bodies on the VMI interceptors are very reliable. Okay. So again, you can be able to comfort, comfortably shoot um, and dodge bullets in your car. Do you have a question again? No, sir. I'm sorry. Sir. <laughs> okay. So what if? Yeah. How big is it? How big is it? Is it small? This car is slightly larger. Um, slightly larger um, in height, well not in height, well the, the, um, the length from the ground to the top of the head is larger as well as the trunk and the body is a bit longer. And it's longer because, you know, we have a bigger engine, we have machine guns. And I like to add about the machine guns that um, it is in a secret kind of chamber here and so when you're in tranquil mode, when this car is in tranquil mode, the guns will be hidden from the public inside of the car's body. However, when the officer decides to use the guns, um, this chamber will open, which will allow the guns to slip slightly out. And now let's get to the back of the car. Here, which appears to be 30, a, 30 seconds, first. 30 seconds yep. appears to be a spoiler. It's, off, it's actually a weapon chamber. So in case you're um, out of your vehicle, and you're in a gunfight, and you need extra weapons, medical aid, or uh, additional body armor, you'll be able to access all that from the back of your car. Cool. Great. So any questions in the last, wait, wait, any questions in the last 15 seconds? What does a VMI mean? It's a vehicle of mass intimidation. Oh. What is it about, I don't know, gasoline, electricity? Oh, it runs on gasoline. So currently, it runs on gasoline. All right. Let's, let's. Yeah, so, the 2003 <laughs> BMI Interceptor. Thank you all very Thank much. you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hold it up to the camera and they can see it.
Get closer. <laughs> yeah.